Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. Today we are checking out this Jeskai Harbinger deck, which recently took Jerry Thompson to a top four at the Magic Online Championship. So congrats to Jerry on his finish with the deck. To be fair, it's a split format, so it's not just because of this sweet Jeskai deck, but it was part of his success at the tournament. Anyway, before we break it all down, a quick reminder, if you enjoy this deck and would like to see it made into videos, take a minute, subscribe, click the like button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos the following week. So, this deck is all about the new Shadows Over Innistrad Planeswalker, Nahiri the Harbinger. So this one I misevaluated, a lot of people misevaluated. It is quickly becoming a modern staple. So as we go through this list, you'll see it's a fairly typical Jeskai control list, except it has an amazing amount of inevitability thanks to, eventually, Nahari getting an Emrakul the Eons Torn with her ultimate, and just wrecking the opponent and making them sack all their permanents, getting in for 15 damage, and winning the game on the spot, most likely. So Nahiri, plus two, lets you improve the quality of your hand. Basically, the red version of looting, you discard first, then you draw a card. There's not a ton of great synergies with this deck. There's some snapcasters and stuff, but there's no madness or anything like that. It's just improving your, your hand quality, digging through your deck for more answers and removals and counters. Uh, the negative two can be removal, essentially, exiling a t an enchantment or a tapped artifact or creature. And then the negative eight, which I already mentioned, is search up target Emrakul. The only other creature in the main deck is a Snapcaster Mage. So if you wanted to, if it somehow was better, you could search up a Snapcaster, flashback something in the graveyard. But I think 95% of the time, this is get an Emrakul. And the sweet thing is, if you get an Emrakul in your hand, you can discard it to Nahiri, shuffle your graveyard back in, and then it's back in your library to search up with ultimate. So that's the plan. Basically, you stall out, stall out, stall out, Draw a bunch of cards using things like Ancestral Visions and Serum Visions just to search through your library, find what you need. Kill everything with Lightning Bolts, Path to Exiles, Electrolyze, Anger of the Gods. Uh, counter some stuff with Spell Snares, Remands, and Cryptic Commands. And then eventually, after all this removal and stalling out, you're going to Emrakul your opponent for the win. As I mentioned, Snapcaster Mage does have some sweet synergy with Nahiri, since uh, the cards you discard in Nahiri are most likely going to be instants and sorceries, which we just talked about, all the b lightning bolt type cards, all the counter spells, and then you can flash them back with Snapcaster Mage, so they're not really gone forever, because you got those four Snapcasters. And then Timely Reinforcements in the main deck is just a great stalling out card. Uh, since you don't have a lot of creatures, you're almost always is going to trigger they get three one one tokens for three mana if you happen to be at less life which is also possible because unless you're lightning bolting your opponent's face you're not really dealing damage to them you're just stalling out so if they get in any hits against you you're going to be at less life and timely reinforcements gains you that life back so it's just a great way to stabilize while you're waiting to eventually gain the firm control over the game and ultimate that nahiri for the emerkel the mana base Pretty straightforward, a bunch of fetch lands, a bunch of shock lands, and a single cascade bluff. Some basic lands to fetch up with your fetch lands, and a celestial colonnade and a ghost quarter. As far as the sideboard, you got three relics to hate on opposing graveyards. Have stony silence and wear tear to take care of artifacts and enchantments. Then a bunch more removal. Anger of the Gods and Engineered Explosives are sweepers. Uh, engineered Explosives only for cheap things, but still it hits non-creature permanents, which can be pretty helpful against a deck like Lantern Control, for example. Blow away all their one-mana artifacts. Celestial Purge gets rid of a red or black permanent, and an is it Static Caster can take down a whole horde of tokens as long as they have the same name. And then some more counter magic. Uh, two Dispels and two Negates. Anyway, that is Jeskai Harbinger. The deck is super spicy, and it's really cool to see Nahiri making waves in modern. Anyway, that's been our deck tech for Jeskai Harbinger. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very, very much for watching. And, of course, I will talk to you soon.